In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use this Edit Color tab from the Color Fills and Pen Styles tools in the Design Center. So here I have some text selected, and you can see it's that color there. If I deselect it, you'll notice that tab actually disappears. So you actually have to have an object selected for the Edit Color tab to actually be available. So now we've got this selected. We see here we've got this color wheel here that we can use for adjusting, and these color models, and all the settings for each color model below. So if I adjust, say, the red channel here using RGB, you'll see I've got a preview and the original color next to each other. So once I'm happy with that, I click Apply, and it will apply the changes I've made, as you can see there. And if I set that back up again, you can see I get this preview here. I click Apply, and it just applies it to the text there like so. So that's how we adjust those colors using the color model there. Now I can change the color model here. I'm going to HSV, and I can adjust, say, the value, bring that up, Again, I see my preview, click Apply, and I can change it like so. I can always undo what I've done, and that's how we adjust it there. CMY, as you can see, it's 100% magenta and yellow, and I've also got my lab colors here as well. If I want to apply, say, this sort of bluish purpley color to the text, I can simply use this uh, color pipette to select the color, and you can see it's now in the preview. <coughs> and if I click Apply, it applies it to the, uh, to the text there like so. So that's how that pipette works. You simply just drag it onto any color you want to apply to another color. Now to use the color wheel, it's very similar. You just simply uh, select the color you want. You'll see the preview. And once you're happy with that, you click apply and it applies the color to the selected object or the text like so. So that's how this, uh, the color tools here work, these added colors. And um, that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.